So in the previous videos, we looked at uh, operations based on characters, right? You could write and read characters using get, char, f, get, c, put, c, and whatnot. Uh, today's, today we'll take a look at get s, a function that lets you get not just one character, but a whole string and its vulnerabilities and why you shouldn't use it. So to start off, let's first declare here a string. So I'm going to say char str array of, uh, let's see, just 10 characters. And to use the get s function, all you have to do is just call it with uh, one, it takes in one single parameter and that is the pointer to where you want to store that string, right? So str. And this guy is going to just simply read from the standard input. And here, if I add a printf, let's say you typed and I say percent %s backslash n and just give it back the string here. If I try to run it and let's say I type in something, you'll notice it just says you typed something. So that works. That just kind of waited until I hit enter and it sort of copied the, the string in str. An important detail here with get s is that at the end, the backslash n does not get copied into the buffer. So that doesn't get copied and instead a uh, null terminator gets copied. So uh, basically the backslash n gets replaced, replaced with a uh, null terminator. And now you might notice that our string is only 10 characters long, but what happens if I type in more than 10 characters onto the stream? So if I run this, what if I say just a lot of garbage, right? Just a lot of A's, for example, if I hit enter, You'll notice Visual Studio is smart enough to detect that our stack was corrupted. What does that even mean? Basically, what this means is that I have allocated a place in memory, right, of 10 characters, but I wrote more than 10 characters, right? I actually wrote probably 20 characters, but those, those extra characters actually don't have a place to be written in so they were just kind of wrote onto the stack into whatever variables were there right and visual studio sort of sort of detects this so as you can see get s is not too smart to actually uh prevent this from happening so if you're using this and if you're using it uh after deploying the application you, you're not going to get this issue inside somebody's ide this is going to get through and corrupt the stack and possibly uh, allow for many vulnerabilities inside your code so what we can do to demonstrate this even further is for example i can initialize here a variable called v initialize it with zero and let's print f its value so v is percent d and i'm going to also print f uh percent x so that means percent x means uh print that variable but in hexadecimal so i'm going to say here v and v so basically we get the same value here so if i try to run this while just printing while just giving it a uh, less than 10 characters here if i hit enter i'm going to get zero and zero as expected because i have initialized this with zero and remember the way we are allocating variables on the stack is like so we first have str here on the stack and then on top of it we get our v variable right so here we have 10 bytes and here we have four bytes for our variable and when we iterate from our with our str we go from here up to here right but if we type in more than 10 characters we're gonna just overwrite whatever is after this place in memory and overwriting this variable so in order for us to control the value of v using get s we have to know what's the difference between the address of str and v to do so what i'm gonna do is simply add a breakpoint here launch this and go into my watch here and actually sort of write an expression that gives us to me a the difference between str and v in bytes how do i do this well i just say uh, str minus v or just str because that is a uh, an array but if i just do this it's going to give us an uh, error because they are not compatible so i have to first i have to also cast them to something that they can both work with so i'm just going to cast them both to uh, char pointers and now i'm going to get 44 doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's negative or positive getting 44 is actually very very valuable why because that means that if i type in 
44 characters inside my string, my v variable is not going to be affected. All right, so if I try to run this without having a breakpoint, if I type in 44 A's, for example, so here are 44 A's, you can count them if you want. If I hit enter, you'll notice our V is still zero. Although we do get an error here saying that we have corrupted the stack because that's way more than 10 characters, right? Now if I try to do the same, but add one more character extra, one, two, three, four, and then five. So here are 45 A's. If I hit enter now, you will notice that our variable V is now well, 97, this is in hexadecimal 61. And 97 is what? Is the ASCII uh, value for, for our A here. Hmm, that's interesting, right? So we basically have <coughs> overwritten, we have set the variable V to be 97, just because we were able to overflow from our STR uh, buffer. We can even set it to 100 if you want. All you have to do is just do the same. And then instead of an A at the end here, you're gonna type in, uh, let me think it's D. So if I hit enter now, A or V should be 100. And as you'll notice, our V is 100 or 64 in, decim in uh, hexadecimal. So using this, a uh, malicious person can basically control anything inside your program. And this is not local to just our variable V, everything after V is vulnerable as well. So you have to make sure that uh, you don't use get s. A good alternative to this that has been introduced in C11 is get s underscore s and that is a safer version that takes in as the second parameter the maximum amount of uh, characters it should read. So here I can say 10 and now if I run it you'll notice so if, for example, with eight characters, it works the same way, except if I go past 10, you'll notice I get an error here saying that the buffer is too small. So basically the get s underscore s function raised this error saying that, okay, dude, you have to figure this out yourself, right? And now you can either hit ignore or something and the program is gonna just stop without you being able to modify this variable, which is really nice, I think. Or another thing you could use is f gets, right, with uh, str, and again, it has a limit on how many characters it's going to write to the buffer, and you can just type in std in to read from the standard input. If I run it now, you'll notice there's different behavior here. So if I type in 10 or more than 10 a's, if I hit enter, I don't get an error, but uh, I only write the first 10 A's to this buffer str and our V is not really affected at all. And as well, you'll notice that Visual Studio didn't detect any issues with the stack being corrupted. And that's it for this video. I hope you stop using get s in favor of the more safer versions of uh, this function. And I hope you understood why that is, all right? What are the vulnerabilities here? Thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Take care. Bye.